Hello and welcome back to Busby Gaming. I'm Tony and today we're gonna go a little bit more in depth about my, my last video. How I uh, told you whether you could find out whether these games are real or fake without opening the cartridge. Today we're actually gonna open them up and show you how exactly you can tell whether you've got a real game or just a crappy reproduction. Now, some of you don't care, I get that, but for us collectors, we want the absolute real deal. And this is how you do it. I got this from Amazon. It cost me about uh, $18 with shipping. I'm gonna have a link down in the description below. Uh, definitely highly recommend you guys get one of these. You can uh, bring these along when you go private selling or when you go to the game a game store that has them. Anyone who says opening up is going to devalue the game, don't know what they're talking about, or they're trying to deter you from finding out whether the game is real or fake. All right, now we're gonna start with N64 because that's what the first video was. Now, last time I told you a couple things. How the bottom of the circuit board here is absolutely white, brand new. You can see that the label is extra glossy. Back also extra glossy. Has no number right here. Now, another thing, you can see that there's nothing on that black part of the board because it's fake. Now this one is real. Has kind of a glossy thing, but it shows its age. Came out in the mid 90s, I believe 1996 or so, 97. So, obviously the board is not gonna be brand new and white, like the last one. Also, you can see there's a little black part there, there's a little number. Also on the back, right there, there's a stamp. Now, before, I wasn't really able to show it because uh, the lighting sucked, but on the official cartridge, you could see the eye on Nintendo square on the fake one it's a circle also again solid T for team hollow T for team now let's open these bad boys up I'll show you what's going on, on the inside you loosen this up why they went with two different screws I don't know I think it's a tamper resistance thing. Apparently it's working on me because I can't get my big ass fingers to get the damn screw out. Don't really matter anyway because I'm going to put it all back together, no big deal. But it's a little guard there. As you can see on this board, 1996, huh, I was right. It says 1996 Nintendo, and there is the serial number. That is how you know that is a real official Nintendo game. Okay, this one really in bad shape. Let's put this back here lightly. Now this is the fake one. See, it has no Nintendo markings on it. It is just a similar, similarly printed board, but the dead giveaway is the no Nintendo on there, no serial number. Now, like I said, if you want to get reproductions it's no big deal but for us collectors we want the real deal especially when you're paying full price and this is the best way the absolute best way to uh tell whether your game n64 game anyway is real or a reproduction all right so the reason why i wanted to show you something about uh this game in particular is like i said the whiteboard is kind of a, a red flag to me because most of these games 
they show their age. And that's the first thing that ages is the label and that board. Now, the reason why we're gonna open this one up and take a look at it is because you have like these Frankenstein monsters that are out there. Like they, they come across the real authentic cartridge on the outside, but the inside's fake because you know, it, you got a little kid brother that you know, snaps one of these to be an asshole or something like that. So you have a, this rare game that um, is worth money. You know, not this one in particular, but this is the best example I can come across where the outside's real, but someone put a repo cart uh, innards in a real cartridge in an attempt to pass it off as real. So we're going to open this one up and just make sure I didn't get duped for a third time. So we take off the heat shield, heat sink, and I'm in luck because even though the pins look really good, it has that 1998 Nintendo as a serial number on there. I can tell that it looks like the battery's been replaced because that's a brand new battery. I mean, the whole thing looks really, really new. Um, so I'm betting that this person who owned this before me didn't really play this game that much. So I kind of lucked out. I mean, the label, you can see it without having everything fall out. There's a little wear on it, but I mean, the inside is like pristine. So that's good news. I mean, I already had an idea that this was pretty new. I mean, everything else checked out other than that whiteboard here um but like i said man there's there's sneaky people out there they'll put a a fake board and a real cartridge and they'll sell it to you for full price another thing that's kind of a giveaway about this game is that it's notably heavier than a normal uh nes game uh, that's because you know not only because of the battery but i mean the, literally the board takes up the entire cartridge so, I mean, if you get a fake, I don't, I don't think there's any fake uh, Resident Evil 2 games out there, but there could be. There could be, like I said, there could be a hybrid or two out there. So you definitely wanna open them up and make sure they have that Nintendo on there with the serial number. All right, now let's move on to Super Nintendo. So we're gonna go kinda Quentin Tarantino here and go at the end and then start backwards. So stay tuned for that one. All right, guys, before we get inside that Super NES cartridge, I just like to ask you to please like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, I'm kind of hurting for subscribers here. I thought more people would like me. Emotional damage. Okay, so we got a classic here. Battletoads on Super Nintendo. Now, we all know this game gives us nightmares, years of therapy, they'll never beat it, okay, <laughs> nothing messing around, all right, here on the back, Nintendo logo, good, square above the eye, another good thing, and I have a game that I'm pretty sure never officially released, officially released, also, it says NES console compatible. No Nintendo logo. But the same basic principles apply for these cartridges as well. See the 1990 Nintendo. See the serial number on there so good news my brother you have a real copy of this punishing nightmarish game yes I have nightmares anyway now let's look at double dragon it's SNES console compatible. This bad boy. They look pretty similar. I'll give them that. 
but no Nintendo logo. No serial number. It's a shame. But we already knew this one was fake. You could buy these online. I don't know how much he spent for it, but I mean, it's still cool that, like I said, some of these games, they're still releasing fan-made games for. And uh, I mean, it looks really cool. Box art's pretty awesome. Again, super glossy labels. You gotta be uh, on the lookout for them. All right, for the NES, we have the classic. 1943, made by Capcom. This game was probably one of the first NES games I ever played besides Super Mario slash Duck Hunt. Kinda learned my lesson, I already took the screws out this time so you don't have to watch me fumble through that shit. Anyway, you already know where I'm gonna go. Nintendo, baby. Square above the eye. Versus game I don't think even ever made it to the NES, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. See though, this one, it isn't trying to be tricky or sneaky. I mean, it says original retro SWE seal of quality. So it's not trying to be a reproduction, but this is just the same basic principle what you're trying to look for for these games. Now, like I said, all right, took the screws out for your convenience. I'm not even gonna touch the ROM, but, oh, you know what, hey. Now, I can't stress this enough because I know there's gonna be a Jeffrey out there that goes, you shouldn't be touching the circuit board. People blew on these things with their hot, moist, dirty ass mouths. Touching it, as long as your hands are clean and dry, you're gonna be just fine. But again, here we are with that Nintendo and up top, you got the serial number. That's what you're looking for. That's how you know it's real. Okay. Now, we already know what the real one looks like. Let's take a look at the fake one. Oh, shit. All right. Mine Kids. Who's Mine Kids, you might ask? I don't know. You have to Google that shit. I don't know. But it's definitely not Nintendo. I mean, I can take it out if you like, but even on the, damn, it's like really wedged in there pretty good. Yep, even on the back, no dice. So there you have it. Three generations of consoles. That's how you can tell whether the, your game is real or fake. Another thing too, most of the fake ones don't have a Nintendo logo on the back. Now, another thing that my brother asked me to cover was, oh, he didn't give me the game. Some of these have five screws. Yeah, this, this one has five screws. This is the earlier iteration of Nintendo games. So just because you see the five screws, don't get scared away. You can see it in there. It has a little bit of a weird screw. I don't think these bits work on those. No, they're kind of a, Kind of a strange one, um, but definitely don't be scared away because it, it doesn't mean that it's it's fake by any means. Um, but definitely get get these things. I'll, like I said, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Uh, I got these off Amazon. I kind of rushed them to get here just so I could film this video, so I paid a little extra. Um, but certainly, if you're a Prime member, I think uh, you get them. You know, one day shipping. It's free anyway. Um, another thing you're gonna need especially the N64 games, is a standard screwdriver, tiny one. Um, you can find those at any hardware store. I mean, those toolboxes come with them already inside. But uh, yeah, definitely I'm gonna put a link in the description down below for those, uh, they call them bit screwdrivers, like or like eight bit screwdrivers or something like that. Something, little clever name. Um, but that's all I have for you today. All right, guys, that about wraps this up for today. A um, little bit of a joke earlier, but seriously, if you like the content, please share and subscribe, and we'll have a lot more fun stuff to go over. 
a lot more fun video games to play, both old and new. Uh, I got a couple videos on the backlog for you guys to check out. And as always, have a good time. Have a good day.